All right, this is me just breaking things down, putting on the new ICT billet. Power steering and alternator bracket. Just taking everything apart, disconnect the battery, alternator, that's my catch can, take that off the bracket too. So I get into something that's a little difficult and trying to pull off this pulley. I tried about three different pulley pullers I had till basically it just unbolted the entire bracket, still attached to the power steering pump after I disconnected the hoses and just, use some other pulleys to take it off once I got to that point. This is the reason for the bracket change. The pulley on the left is the smaller one that I was using and it was just nuking the power steering fluid. It was puking out of there on autocross days. So going back to the stock size one and this new ICT bracket moves that power steering pump inward about an inch so I can use that proper pulley size. This is me just modifying a steering wheel puller with some washers behind that pulley to pull it out far enough so that then I could actually get the real pulley pulley on there and get that off. Here's me just taking off the pulley with that normal pulley puller. Here's a picture of just the brackets installed with the power steering pump. I had to leave all the bracket bolts loose in order to fit that pump on, just tight fit under there for my car and the steering box. Uh, here's just another video, everything kind of bolted together, except uh, putting on that power steering stock pulley. You'll see me just get in the way of the camera a lot. I'm just checking to make sure that the pulley is aligned with the crank pulley and that idler and everything so that when the belt goes on, it's not slipping off or chewing itself up. So just a bunch of checks back and forth, again with a straight edge, making sure it's all lined up everything installed so i have to remount my catch can i bent the tabs so that they're flat and then they'll fit inside that bracket once i drill a couple holes and bolt it in but i don't have enough space between my rad fan and that bracket to drill it properly so i need a 90 degree drill to to get through that properly and then mount that so the king of holding things together currently is zip ties just around the bracket and those catch can brackets but this gives you a good look as to how everything is set up at the moment, how it will likely be. I'll also trim out that engine cover on the alternator side to make it fit. So then just a quick bleed and flush on the power steering fluid, make sure everything's topped up right, and we're ready to rock.